What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified series Dusty 6 inch action figure. Here's a quick look at the box. Up front we have artwork of Dusty over here with his desert camouflage. At the top of the box we have the G.I. Joe logo and he's number number 49. Down to the bottom of the box, some product information. And on to that side, we have Dusty over here in his desert ops. And he also appears to be tracking some sort of enemy over here. Down to the back of the box. The usual collage of all the characters in the classified series. Some more product information at the bottom. And, and on to the last side of the box. We have a couple of icons for Dusty's specific abilities. In particular over here we have a symbol with a cactus to show his specialty in desert ops. So now let's go ahead and get this guy open. After packaging the figures on the plastic tray, he comes with one backpack, two goggles, one helmet, one dagger, and a magazine that goes into his compact machine gun. His dagger is a black plastic with sculpted detail for the grip, and you can also see silver paint for the blade, and there's clearly a, a cutting edge. He holds the dagger just fine in both of his gripping hands. The dagger also stores away conveniently on that brown sheath that's attached to his right boot. He's got a bulky brown backpack and that is cast in a brown plastic. Some sculpted detail for the straps. You can see that running from the top of the backpack down the middle as well as some pouches on the bottom. There are also two water bottles on each side. The backpack looks a little too plain. Could have used some painted details for those straps and those water bottles. The inside of the backpack, you can see a peg, and there's also some nice sculpted folds in the fabric of that backpack. This peg goes into the hole on his back, which you will need to align with those straps, and it pops right on. Now for his headgear, this is cast in a tan plastic brown paint for the camel pattern, as well as a strap that runs all the way around the top of his headgear. There's also some grey paint for the straps on the sides of his headgear. The headgear sits kind of loose on his head, looking a little too big, but I think he's supposed to wear it kind of more snugly, pressing it down on the front where it sits just above his eyebrows. The floating back of the headgear does look a little odd, but I suppose this is sort of faithful to the headgear for Desert Ops. However, because it's just really kind of oversized, it gets a bit finicky as you try to pose and maneuver his head. So this to me is quite a bummer, especially since his headgear is one of the more iconic pieces of Dusty's look. I finally managed to get it to sit better by pressing on the back and front of his head and making sure it sits tighter. The fit definitely still isn't the best and it still kind of annoys me as I try to pose and move his head around. So it really feels like Hasbro has dropped the ball on this. He comes with two pairs of goggles and these are sculpted in a grey plastic. One is bigger than the other and they also both have cool detail like the lenses painted in silver and that also has a nice shine to it. The larger pair of goggles sits on his headgear just above that brown band. So that's also an additional cool look and a nice accessory piece to his headgear. The smaller pair of goggles sits onto his head just fine. It's actually quite a good fit. And I do notice now that the edges of the goggles are a bit rough from the molding. You can have him with those goggles on while still also wearing his headgear. And it's also a nice option to display him with those goggles flipped up as well. And his rifle comes with a removable magazine. All of this is cast in a black plastic. Magazine slots in just quite snugly onto the back area of the rifle. Cool realistic detail on the rifle, like the supporting grip down here. He's got a couple of rails on the top with a sight attached, and there's also that rear loading mechanism on the butt of the rifle. Similarly, we see nice details on the other side, and finally, it's got a brown plastic support stand over here, and this rotates forward and backward. I think he looks okay just holding on to his rifle, but I do want to point out a couple of things. First of all, there's not enough space between the pistol grip 
and the magazine loading area for you to squeeze his right hand in. So that grip looks a little awkward. Next, that huge butt on the back of the rifle, because of the loading mechanism, does tend to get hindered by those pouches on the bandolier. So this prevents him from holding the rifle closer to his body. So I guess he looks decent, but if I'm nitpicking, it actually looks just a little awkward holding the rifle like this. Now looking at the sculpt of the figure itself, his arms and legs are reused from the stalker body. New parts are his head sculpt, his torso, the bandolier, and this belt or skirt piece. At first I thought his torso was reused from Duke, but there are several new elements about it, like the name tags as well as the different shape of the pockets. And that sets his torso apart from the shirt design on Duke's torso that we've also seen on other figures like Flint and Spirit. Dusty's head sculpt is pretty decent. He's got a steely determined gaze. You can see the dot matrix printing technique for sharp paint applications on his eyebrows, the browns and whites in his eyes, as well as some color for his lips. There's also a bit of shading around his cheeks, kind of showing off the dirt on his face, or maybe a little bit of sunburn. He's also got nice paint applications for the brown desert camel on both sides of his face. Paint applications are also sharp for his blonde hair, and I do like the sculpting to show the textures and waves in his hair. The paint especially makes all these sculpted textures look much better, and it's also applied with the right thickness so that there's no loss of definition in the sculpting. His neck is also a flesh tone plastic, and that connects to the rest of his body, which is sculpted in a tan plastic. There's a very dark grey paint for his inner shirt, and that's covered with the sculpting of his outer fatigues, cool sculpted details like the pockets, as well as his name tag and team tag over here. That's also sculpted on and highlighted with an off-white paint, with sharp printing for the text. Also very sharp printing of the American flag over here, and as you will notice, there are hits of brown paint all over his fatigues to show off that desert camo. He's got a bandolier, and all this is sculpted in brown plastic. Green paint over here for his hydration tube, and this leads all the way to the back as well. Also painted in green over here, looking like it kind of attaches into his backpack. So that is a cool detail, showing how he's realistically hydrating during his desert ops. I also like that the desert camo is also nicely printed on the back of the figure as well. Because we all know sometimes Hasbro also skims on paint on the back of the figures. So this is great work. What throws me off a little bit is the color of the plastic on his mid elbow joint. And this doesn't match that well to the rest of the tan fatigues. Around his waist, he's got this separate attachment piece. This is sculpted in a brown plastic and you can see some straps and pouches sculpted with a hit of tan paint over here, just to make it look as if his fatigues are untucked. However, this piece of plastic visually sits above the rest of his body, so this ends up looking a little bit like a strange skirt. The color of the paint over here also isn't a perfect match to the tan plastic on the rest of his figure. So to me, this belt piece does look a little strange. We move on to his lower body, and likewise, we see that nice uniform desert camel printing, but once again, those mid-knee joints don't match up to the rest of the tan plastic on his legs. So that is disappointing to see, just like his elbows. I would much rather they just give him some knee pads in a different plastic, so at least that's some nice detail that's meant to stand out from the rest of his legs. And finally, he does have some military boots, and these are sculpted in a brown plastic with decent detail like the laces down the front, as well as a couple of wrinkles and straps down the sides. So overall, I would say this is an okay body sculpt. I do like the desert camo print all over the body. However, it is thrown off by the, the off-color mid-knee and mid-elbow joints, and also that kind of slightly strange-looking skirt around his waist. For articulation, he's got a double bell dumbbell joint at the top of his neck and then another ball joint at the bottom. So that lets you spin his head 360, getting quite good sideways tilting when you combine both ball joints. He does also get decent downward range and upward range. He does come with butterfly joints that get you to pull 
his shoulders back and forward just that little bit of minimal range swivel hinge at the shoulders that go all the way around as well as coming out just beyond 90 degrees upper bicep swivel for 360 spin double jointed pinless elbows for quite good range swivel hinge at the wrist for 360 spin articulating in as well as out on his left wrist he's got a right trigger hand so that hinge instead goes down and up rightly so for a trigger hand he's got a mid torso hinge as well as a ball joint at his waist combining them both gets you quite decent forward bend as well as backward bend that waist ball joint gives you a little bit of sideways wiggle and he does also spin 360 with that skirt following his torso so that I guess is a nice touch despite how awkward this looks to me ball joints at his hips and that also has the drop down feature so you get a perfect split no problems forward and backward as well swivel at his thigh for 360 spin pinless double hinged knees for quite good range calf swivel just above his boot for 360 spin ankle tilt upwards and downwards and finally ankle pivot outwards and inwards dusty is on pretty much gi joe classified tv standard articulation so you should have no problems getting him posed into different dynamic poses and i do think that he's got a good amount of accessories to have quite a bit of fun in posing this action figure for size dusty stands at almost six and a half inches and that's almost 16 and a half centimeters of course he scales well with the rest of the joes of course he also scales well with the cobra baddies and here he is with cobra troops i really can't wait for hasbro to design and release a classified series version of the desert scorpion troops here he is with some Marvel Legends and Star Wars Black series. While I'm happy to finally get the Joe's Desert Trooper, Dusty feels bang average. The Desert Camo is a nice touch on the front and back of the fatigues and I do like that he's got usable goggles. However, his trademark headgear turns out quite poorly executed and the different shades of tan in the joints and awkward painted skirt piece throws this figure off for me. It's hard to recommend this one to the regular Joe collector, especially when we've got quite a good release of Zorana in this wave. Please like and share this video, let me know what you think in the comments below, subscribe to my channel or even hit that super thanks button. Thanks for watching, take care and stay safe.